Hi, good morning. My name is Raquel and welcome to my podcast. Today is Sunday the 27th of May. Yeah. So, didn't film last week because I didn't have much to show. Um, again, I still don't have a lot to show because I... The only thing I can show you is what I'm currently working on and one of the projects I finished because the other two items I've made um, are the shawl I designed and I don't want to show it in its full glory just yet. Also it hasn't been blocked which I need to do now. Um, what I can say, well I'll show you a little bit of it in a, in a little bit, I just want to show you the, the whole thing and I'll talk about the yarns that I used and um, the test knitting going on at the moment and stuff so but I'm gonna start with the the one project I did finish um, which I already finished last week yeah last week and that was um, the sweater I was working on which was the easy one in fingering weight by Hohi Locatelli and I used uh, Katya Gobi Lace um, I believe it's Katya Concept Gobi Lace which I bought at Donna Guillen from Malikam and I knit it in this nice like camel color um, I think the last time I showed you this I had the body finished and I just started working on one of the sleeves and I finished both sleeves there's one and there's the other it's a nice big boxy sweater um, it's unfortunately starting to get a bit too warm to wear it but it fits nicely um, I like the um, the roll instead of having a um, you know a ribbed neckline I like the this roll neckline um, it is I might have now knit a size too large because I, I get the idea that this is gonna stretch quite a bit but that's okay it's supposed to be a boxy sweater it's supposed to be uh, nice and you know slouchy so that's gonna work fine so yeah that one I, I already put it away in my uh, drawer this morning so I need to fold it back and put it back in my drawer so as I won't be wearing it anytime soon now I don't think um, so yeah then Okay, I'll go into the shawl and then I'll show you what I'm knitting on because I just started that yesterday. So, um, like I'm, I don't know if I mentioned that last time on my podcast, which was two weeks ago, and that it was that um, Angela from Nona Aguila asked me to design a shawl with some yarn um, that she has in the shop. And we made a whole bunch of kits and I put those photos up on, on, on Ravelry so that um, people can have choices. Anyway, um, the idea behind the shawl was to design it for a workshop that I was going to be giving. Um, that workshop's not going to happen now because there weren't enough people interested uh, on the date that I was available. We might have it at some other, some later date and then maybe not specifically the shawl but just sh shawls in general or the construction of, uh, of shawls. So what I did, I went through my stitch dictionaries and tried to find some lace because um, I wanted something with a lace um, initially it was supposed to be simple lace the lace I chose, it's not too hard but um, it might require some concentration and it's quite a number of rows um, that you um, I was initially going to look for some lace that had maybe four to eight rows uh, repeat. Um, I cho ended up choosing one with a 28 row repeat. So I can quickly, like, you can't see too much like this anyway. So I chose the yarns uh, Manus del Uruguay uh, Alegria and I decided to create like the largest shawl straight away. I'm gonna have to definitely adjust the uh, yardage amounts in, in the pattern as I I had to start, I totally ran out of yarn, let's put it this way. I did not, ended up fudging the end of the, sh uh, of the shawl, which kind of disappointed me, but because um, I didn't have, I only had one skein of each color. Um, I used 
the main color was um, eucalyptus and then this variegated color which you can see here so this blue white pinkish color here that was uh, me um, and I, I believe I showed the skin the skeins um, two weeks ago when I last filmed so um, here's a shot I don't like I said I don't like how I had to quickly end it I'd start decreasing a lot faster than I planned um, so I'm definitely gonna have to change the yardage for the two larger sizes of the shawl there's four sizes I did small medium large and, and extra large this was supposed to be the extra large then um, to have <coughs> because I have three different options in terms of um, how you want to do th the sizing is the same for all three options then uh, the only thing that changes in the options is that one has um, a little extra border around the edging which is I can show you on here Try not to show the part of the noise so it has little triangles uh, along the edging so that's option A which has, goes ar around the lace section and around one of the edges then option B is just around the lace section that little triangle border and then option C is no extra border at all just the lace section and the the garter stitch um, part of the shawl and so I decided to create little mini shawls uh, just samples basically to show the um, the other two options as well because I don't have time to knit two more shawls in various options by the time I want to release the shawl so sorry about my voice and um, I did a lot of talking yesterday so it's kind of croaky um, so I just got some yarn out of my stash and made a little shawl this is option C so there's no extra border anywhere around the, um, the thing and what I decided now is that I don't um, whereas on the big shawl you don't notice too much the way I did the decreases on this little shawl you do kind of notice and I'm not liking this decrease on the side too much so I might modify that and give that as um, an alternative option to instead of doing the decreases the way I've done them now um, I have an alternative option for all three shawls um, to maybe not make it so triangular make it a bit more rounder on one edge so that's what I've been working on um, I've written the pattern up like I said I emailed the testers on Friday and on Saturday um, and they have until the 7th to complete what I asked them to complete of the shawl basically it's one pattern repeat of the lace and then start doing uh, do the the decreases a bit just use some yarn that they have lying around um, I had initially asked for slightly more that they start the actual shawl but uh, several of them indicated that they wouldn't have enough time to do that so I said okay just do the one um, one pattern increase uh, one pattern one lace pattern um, and one lace pattern repeat and the decreases that way um, they've read through it, that way to me it shows that they've read through the pattern uh, the option that they want to do and um, they can give me feedback on that so uh, and then what I'm gonna do is um, release the pattern on the 9th that's the plan the 9th of June which is well it's the the knit in public day uh, worldwide knitting public day and I'm gonna start a cow just for the shawl um, separately f separately from the year-long cow that I'm doing for the Banagulia yarns this one you can enter in that cow as well because if you use yarns from Banagulia um, but for this one it's just gonna be a, a short cow like maybe a month maybe two months um, of um, just for the shawl and you can use any yarns you want and what I'll do is for the world for the first week maybe I'll offer the shawl as at a discount price and um, yeah and we'll start a cow and I'm hoping that a lot of people will join in <laughs> on the cow I'll talk more about it next week when I, when I have more details um, so yeah that's it for the 
shawl knitting and um, I am still gonna make one more version of the um, so option B I still have to knit option B and I have some yarn lying around um, I'm using some leftover uh, drops in the pile and Lima that I have uh, lying around but um, I didn't start that yesterday because I wanted to knit the socks for sock madness which even though I'm not no longer in the running of the competition I'm a cheerleader now I did want to knit the pattern, at least one of the socks, which shows a reasonable effort to the um, moderators so that I can get the pattern for the next round, which is the this current round, round five, finishes on the 29th, which is Tuesday. And I would like to, like I said, show reasonable effort in finishing uh, the sock, the pair of socks, so I can get the pattern for the next round. And I won't have, that way I won't have to wait until the end of... Um, the sock minus to get the, the patterns. So um, this one is not quite lace and I, ha I haven't done a full repeat so you won't be able to see much of anything um, yet but um, like I said I, I started this yesterday. I have finished this little thing yesterday um, and then during the knit group um, which I'll, I'll get back to in a bit I worked on my crochet blanket, but I didn't do a lot on that, so it's not worth showing. And this, then yesterday when I got home, I started on the, the sock. So I'm using Hjertegarn sock form in this. It's a bit more green than what's showing up on screen. And the cuff took a bit longer than usual because I actually had to sit and count because it's not, um, there's some twisted stitches. But it's not every knit stitch, it's not a twisted stitch, so I had to count and it took a bit longer because of that. So this is what I have so far. Sorry. Get the needles. So there's a couple of uh, twisted stitches, like it's not every single knit stitch is a twisted stitch. And then um, there's some there's like some full cabling coming down here and then there's a little bit of increases and in stuff going on there. Um, I can't even remember the name of the pattern to tell you but um, on, while I edit I'll just put it in like in the down bar, oh, I'll put it coming up. up um. Sorry I can't talk today. <laughs> <coughs> I'll put it on the screen as I'm talking to tell you what the name of the pattern is again the patterns for sock madness are not available until the very end of sock madness when the competition has been finished and that's usually around the end of June so because there's uh, after this round finishes there's two more rounds to go uh, although they are shorter rounds they're only 10 days instead of two weeks so this is what I have today I'm hoping to at least finish the first sock today the, um, and again, as I'm a cheerleader, I can now modify the sock any way I want. So I'm not, I'm going to see. Um, I'm going to, oh, and I'm knitting the, these on two and a half millimeters instead of my two twenty-five millimeters. The pattern suggested it because of the, um, the cabling, <coughs> the, the full cabling and these, um, the section and everything. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm probably going to. After, the <coughs> sorry. After the heel, <coughs> drink some iced tea. Maybe that'll help my throat. Um, after the heel, I'll probably go back to my two twenty fives for a tighter knit on the foot, as there's more stitches on the needle than I usually knit my plain vanilla socks. Um, and. They actually seem quite stretchy, so that's it's stretched out. Um, <coughs> I think I'm going to leave it here because my throat is really, my voice is not working with me, and so good thing that um, <coughs> I'm just here with the cats today, and I won't have to talk too much because he is he wasn't too happy with me leaving him by himself. Um, yesterday the whole day long so he'll probably be lying with me on the sofa for most of the day um, I will quickly what I said um, 
yesterday morning um, I went to Ovelha Negra, I spent the whole morning there with uh, Joana. We had some lunch and then uh, in the afternoon it was the knit group and we had um, someone, uh, Rosario uh, from Dona, uh, Dona Maria uh, Yarn. She came for a visit yesterday um, afternoon so it was a nice big knit group. And I put some photos up on Instagram uh, if you want to have check uh, check that out. Um, I tend not to take photos, uh, or I tend not to take too many photos of people's faces and everything. Um, there is one photo that um, because I was taking a photo of a pro someone's project that does show you the the dimension of the group. I think we were maybe um, we had like five tables. And there's a little guy. Come here, Sid. Come say hello. Say hello. This is Sid, for those who've never watched before. This is my two-year-old, very naughty black kitten. Um, and like I said, he's feeling lonely because he doesn't have his two dog um, mates to, to play with. So um, back to the knit group. Went to knit group. Um, Rosario from Dona Maria came and uh, spent the afternoon with us. So I think we were maybe 12 to 13 people um, at the knit group yesterday. Um, the usual crowd showed up. We had a couple of people that um, hadn't been for quite a while uh, show up as well. Um, yeah, we had a generally good time. Uh, everyone was in good spirits. We had some nice uh, cake that... Um, place that we go to um, has. I tend to have the uh, lemon meringue pie, which is really good. Yesterday, I found that the bottom of the the pie was a bit soggy, but you know, it was edible. It was good anyway. Um, didn't stop me from eating it. <laughs> and surprisingly enough, the waiter that, there's one waiter that's pretty grumpy. Uh, he tends to avoid us when we're there. I don't know if he doesn't like like large groups. I don't know what it is, or that he's intimidated by all these women sitting there knitting and you know wielding needles and stuff like that. I don't I don't know what it is, but usually when we are stuck with him, uh, we have to get up and go because we um, the cafe we go to has a top section um, and then just the, the ground floor where where you walk into, and then a little lower section. We're always up at the top section. And usually if he's the one like taking orders from upstairs, we have to go down to the cash register and ask for our um, drinks and our food and stuff like that because he'll completely ignore us. Yesterday, for some reason, he must have been in good spirits because he came up, uh, asked... Uh, I was the first one to arrive with uh, with Angela because she come to um, Ovelia as well, and um, we um, we had lunch together and then went f for a little walk at Portobello uh, Market in um, Carlos Albert, and then we went down to the the cafe while we waited on on the others, and um, uh, so yeah, so he came straight away. He came up and asked us our order and yeah it was different yesterday and even when the rest of the crowd uh, was there he came up and he asked everyone what they wanted and he took down the orders and like I said he must have been in a good mood or maybe it's the weather that's starting to he doesn't you know I, I don't know what it was it was just a nice change from having a, a grumpy waiter who usually ignores us that to um, Having someone who takes your order and doesn't complain too much. So, okay, I'm gonna go. Um, it's a short episode today. Like I said, I don't have a lot to show you. Maybe next week, uh, having had feedback from my testers, hopefully, I'll, and having had time to block the shawl and weave in all the ends, I'll, maybe I'll show off, off the, the finished product. Like I said, um, I'm not too happy with how I had to quickly decrease uh, towards the end of the shawl, but hopefully with uh, some good blocking that might improve. 
I know I'm definitely going to re-knit this with um, different yarn and make sure that I have more yardage and um, knit the way uh, knit it the way I had planned to knit it originally if I hadn't run out of yarn. So um, that's it for today. Uh, I'll be back next week. I think. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to do this on a weekly basis. Uh, I might have things coming up if last week I didn't film because, like I said, I didn't have anything to show you. I, mean, I had one finished object to show you and that would have taken you, me maybe five minutes max to talk about and then I wasn't going to show the, the shawl at the time. So um, it wasn't worth uh, filming. And when I go over to my parents' house, as, I mean, I could film, but then it'll take two or three days before I upload it because the internet connection at my parents' place isn't isn't too good. It's very slow compared to what I have here at home, so it takes forever to upload something. Um, so yeah, just let's keep it to... I'll film when I can, hopefully every week, sometimes two, every two weeks. Um, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to keep this regular and not um, let it go a long, long time without podcasting again, unless I have some other reason I can't podcast. Uh, but then I'll, I'll let you know on social media why I'm not podcasting. So have a nice rest of the Sunday. I'm going to have my breakfast because I still haven't had breakfast yet. So it's more a brunch. It's going to be more of a brunch than anything else. And um, then I'm going to knit on my sock to hopefully have one finished sock today and maybe start the second sock. We'll see um, how nice Soot's going to play today. Um, so yeah. So have a nice day and have a nice week and hopefully you'll see me again next week. And have uh, enjoy your knitting. Bye.